this is Isabel from Aquazom. I'm making the one month and a half update on my new reef tank. Uh, so um, around uh, December 20th, I have installed uh, this aquarium. It is a Flugel Flex 15 gallon that I have modified by removing the back sump and including a Tidal 70, 75 filter. Let me just show you that it's right there above. So let's have a closer look to the aquarium. Um, what you can see right off the bat is that it has mostly uh, soft corals, leathers, and mushrooms. And it has two um, fish inhabitants and a pistol shrimp and a cleaner shrimp. Um, and also we have about a dozen hermit crabs all over the tank. Uh, I initially had two of these uh, sunset damsels, but um, no, actually I had three initially and I only have one left now. I do believe um, it's in the cycling process that they just didn't adapt, even though I had used all the previous uh, tanks, uh, rocks and sand and even the water was recycled. So I guess it was just bad luck that I only have one now, but she's doing pretty well. As you can see, we're going to come a little bit closer to show you. She's really active, so it's going to be a little bit hard to focus on her. Um, or him, who knows, actually. Um, right now I just fed them, so they're quite active and out and about. And I also have this goby, which uh, I still don't know the name of. Uh, but instead of chilling with the pistol shrimp, with who is supposed to be a symbio, he chills with the cleaner shrimp. Go figure. You can make up love, you know? <laughs> uh, so if you guys know what type he is, please write it in the comments below. I'm very interested in knowing what type he is because I've never kept this particular type of gobi. Um, and he's like not common looking either. So, and But he's very, very active, just like the damsel in here. They really adapted super well. And as you can see, also my corals have uh, expanded extremely a lot. And um, I've added a few new corals since the last time you saw this tank. So let's come closer and see. These big mushrooms already were inside since the beginning, since the get-go. Let's just focus properly on them. But I did get as a gift something that I would never buy myself because it's extremely expensive. And this is a bounce coral, a bounce mushroom coral. It's pretty awesome and uh, they're apparently they're rare and they're expensive so I can't wait until it makes babies all over the place you know and I'm not sure it's supposed to be all orange because uh, if you look at the very top there is some uh, different colorations coming through like some greens and some blues um, it's a bow front tank so it's very hard for me to show you the exact uh, angle right now how it's coloring up also in here I have some purple star polyps, which is like grass, they call it, the corals uh, and grass. Um, it's finally op opening up nicely. And I will hope that it covers a good area here. Obviously, the Kenya tree was already in here. And the baby behind is the baby of this one. I don't know why. But once upon a time, this Kenya tree decided to let go some of its branches. And that one is the result of it. And they're both super healthy. <laughs> I have uh, this uh, leather coral on top, which has grown into different shapes uh, because it's trying to catch the light as much as possible. It's a pretty one. <laughs> I also got this one. That's a new leather also. I don't know all of their names by heart. I know this is a toadstool. This, I don't want to lie, maybe it's a green canyon tree or it could be like, it looks like a green canyon tree, honestly. So I'm going to stick with green canyon tree, but if you think it's something else, please let me know in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a devil's hand, but that doesn't look like that at all. Um, here I have a long tentacle toadstool. These ones are pretty rare. It's also uh, one of the newer ones. 
I'm just gonna pause on it because it's so pretty I wanted to show you um, and I have some hermit crabs in here crawling all over the place all the time yeah show yourself he's so cute like really he's a mystery to me I have no idea so how's this tank doing um, I added uh, this um, wave maker on top of the title that I have right here it's a title 75 as I said before uh, this is a very nano wave maker I mean and I as you can see I will just back up a little bit to show you okay so this is the tank in all its glory I am NOT directing the flow at the leathers or the mushrooms I am directing it at the glass so it bounces off the glass and just like hits different areas and not as strongly uh, the reason for it is because mushrooms and leathers they don't like to be uh, unglued from the rocks and that will certainly happen if you have some flow that goes straight at them so never aim your flow at your uh, soft corals they do not like that they will literally peel off of the rock and just go swimming elsewhere in your tank or just get lost behind the rocks and die off so that's my recommendation uh, since the last time also um, I do have a little bit of algae that started growing on the glass which is normal I do believe I have some here on the side um, it's hard to show because there is not that much of it um, let's come around here yeah yeah you see on there on the glass a little bit of uh, the brown algae new tank syndrome basically uh, but that should just go away with the invertebrates um, the snails I have in here I have one giant turbo which is good question it's giant but it's hiding and I have some Lazarus snails I do believe I have one right back here but how am I supposed to show you when there's like the grilly oh actually is he there I think he's behind there yeah <laughs> So basically my snails are all in the back, uh, don't try to look for them. But um, another thing is I've changed the light, I've changed the light for this wonderful spotlight which is actually a uh, optical lens spotlight from uh, my favorite, um, not cheap, I will not say cheap because it's built very well. Uh, it's called Lumini and it's Chinese obviously but it it's very affordable I found it on Amazon and Aliexpress it's very affordable yet it's very strong so I honestly suggest that light if you're like on a tighter budget and it also comes with a remote control so you can like hold on let me just zoom properly you can change the channels red blue blue and green or something like that no white red green blue and blue uh, two different types of blue you can like just change them around and you, you just have to basically aim this at this and you can change your lights up and the intensity of them uh, up to 10 times each type of lighting you can increase or decrease so it comes with a gooseneck also and I think it was like $65 or something like really an amazing bargain for a reef tank otherwise you'd be like buying a castle or something like that to have the same shimmering effect because in reality it's the optical lens that produces the shimmer so I highly suggest this light I'm not sponsored at all if they want to sponsor me hey please Lumini sponsor me but um no, I'm just I'm just giving you my honest opinion that it's an amazing light and um, it doesn't create weird algae so far so good um, it's just very decent I even prefer it much more to um, aqua illumination I'm not talking stuff about aqua illumination I'm just telling you how I test aqua illumination versus this this is much better shimmer much cleaner light if that's a way of saying it um, and what else can I say about this um, I have done two small water changes ever since I added a little bit of al alkalinity Nowadays, I just dose my tanks with just uh, some Kalkwasser. Uh, this tank doesn't actually need it because it's all soft corals. Um, but just to keep my alkalinity up and my shrimps uh, molding now and then, you know. So, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little tank update. Uh, don't forget to like if you liked it. <laughs> Dislike if you don't like me. That's fine. Or just don't do anything. <laughs> and uh, subscribe for uh, my latest notification. You just press on the bell button icon and uh, you'll get a notification to your email saying I've uploaded. So, yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye. I can see a beam of light